Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross. Did I mention I like the music on this boat? I do. Okay, I'm done with that. Hey, this ship looks really different from the pirate ship, doesn't it? Look at there's like naked bunny girls on the side. It's all like pimped out. What's going on here? That Fargo really is running a cruise liner, isn't he? Look at this. Ah, uh, what a life. I have absolutely nothing to do. Do you envy me? <laughs> you're a loser. Ha ha ha, you're just jealous. Blah. And look, they've got the demi-humans all over the place. Oops, I didn't mean to talk to you. That <laughs> sucks to be you. All right, you get in through here. There's nothing to do on the top side, really. Now, this place can be a little confusing if you don't know where to go, so I'm going to try to make it self-explanatory. Hello, kitty. I'm scared of you. Um, so I believe we're going to go down a little bit. Below. So go below. Try to do it in order. I mean, you can run around and explore all these, but... Let's go to... Well, that guy's standing in front of that door, so let's go in here. Hope you guys saw that. Excuse me, but I need to get to work. Please let me through. Um, well, okay. Wow, look at all these demi-humans in here. That stinks. They're big, like janitors and everything. I have to mop the floors. Let me through. Alright, go. Don't slack off. I'll slack you off, you fuzzy little foreigner. I'll fill your bag pipes with gratina. <laughs> if you guys know where that quote's from, good on you. That old man used to be the leader of Marbule, but now he's down on the dumps, mopping the floors of the Zelvis. Wow. Through this door is the Grand Slam, a world where the weak are victims of the strong. Power is justice, just what the captain preaches. Anyway, I'll let you through if you get the captain's permission. We'll find more about the Grand Slam later, it's kind of a big pain in the ass, but... That old man is the leader of Marbule and he's a janitor? That's really, uh... That's poo-poo. I'm not happy with that. Um, let's go talk to the captain. I believe he's up the ladder. Man, I'm enjoying this music a little too much. Ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo. Obviously the captain's door is here, the one with the bones on top of it. Hey, look at that. It's been quite some time, Irenis. You've grown up. Fargo, you have not changed at all. You are still here, drowning in memories of the past. What do you know? I lost everything when I lost Elvis. Oh, uh, isn't that the name of your ship? That is untrue. My sister left hope. A treasure that may one day bring humans and demi-humans together. You mean Nikki? Yeah, and his sister Marcy. What? That child died when with Zelbus when Lucia... Whoa, we're learning about a lot of drama here in this world. You do not know anything, do you? Oh, you refuse to know. You only remember the past which is favorable for you. Lucia tried to save my sister, Zelbus, but she was only able to save the baby, Marcy. Lucia felt responsible and has supported Marcy from a distance throughout her life. Look at you now. Where is the old you? who has the passion and desire to build a new world with my sister. I told you, the old me is dead. Now what do you want? I don't need to be lectured by you. Understood. Let me get to the point. You have taken away the song of the demi-humans. In other words, we would like you to free the sage. I see. But why? You know that song too, don't you? Do not feign ignorance, Fargo. You should know better. Why should you make it now? <laughs> Only when the song is sung by one with special power can the effects be brought into full play. My sister, Zelbus, is dead, and you have taken away the sage. Marble no longer has its true power without that song. Marble is now a nesting ground for evil dream spirits. Interesting. But so what? I don't want outsiders in Marble. That suits me just fine. How much longer are you going to be stubborn? The marble you once knew is, is no longer there. You will only find a nightmare. Open your eyes to reality. I'm not releasing the sage, no matter what you say. Fine, I will not beseech you. I will not give up on the restoration of Marbule. 
I will continue to strive to make my sister's dream come true. God, Fargo, you're a dick, man. What are you doing? What a dipshit. Alright, dude. We're here to kick your ass. We lied to get through to the Grand Slam. Oh, the Grand Slam, eh? So you're out for blood. Tell me, where'd you folks come from? Marbule. What? Marbule? What are you doing here, anyway? We're looking for the Sage of Marbule. Well, well, well. I'm sorry, but there's no one of that sort aboard the Zelbus. Plus, I don't want strangers ruining my fun on my ship. Sorry, I can't grant you access. Man, you are a dick. I don't like this Fargo very much. Not at all. I'm smoking. Ding it. But that wouldn't be fun, now would it? The foundation of the Zelbus is entertainment. What do you say that you try your luck? Try our luck? That's right, there's a casino down below. If you win, I'll give you access to the Grand Slam. But if you lose, how about you give me your boat docked by the entrance? Well, what do you say? Well, you don't got a choice. <laughs> Even though it's Norris's boat and nobody asked him. <laughs> Good, that's the spirit. I'll meet you down at the casino. Don't chicken out now. <laughs> yeah, I'll beat your ass. So we gotta go gamble him for the boat. Now, here's the thing about the gambling. It causes a lot of grief with a lot of people. Right now, as the story stands, you cannot win, no matter what you do. There is a cheat to help you win on the roulette wheel, which I will show just because I know people are going to ask about it. But the cheat won't work in this part of the story, so don't even bother. No, not again. Oh my goodness, look at this dude. Ratty McBuck teeth. Give it up, old man Sneff. You don't have what it takes. Just keep doing your shows, that's all. Enough. One of these days I'm going to slap your dirty face with a lot of cash and get the hell off of the ship. I just want to do a retarded voice for that dude, I think. I might. Well, 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 look who's here. That old man has built up quite a debt from this casino, so now I own him. I suggest you don't let the same happen to you. Holy crap, is this dude dickish. Excuse me, everyone. May I have your attention, please? I need to have a private game with these folks. Would you mind leaving us alone for a while? I'll clear any debts you may have. Are you serious, Captain? Did I stutter? Alright! Get out of here. If you're losing, walk away. Walk away, bitches. The captain is good. Better watch it. Take it easy on him, captain. <laughs> so is everybody getting this so far? This episode is basically all about Fargo being a dick. Oh man, sorry I had to stretch. I just wanted to make sure that you were all on the same page. <laughs> okay, then let's begin. The usual captain. Yes, sudden death. The rules are simple. Press the X button after the dealer spins the compass or alternate turns. The pointer will stop north, east, south, or west. Should the pointer stop on south where it stands now, you lose. Simple game. Just don't make the pointer stop on south. It's a game of luck rather than skill. So he says. We'll find out more about that later. So he'll go first. And of course he'll probably get north or east. Yup. Haha, <laughs> you're up. Now, even if you cheat here, you guys, you cannot win. He'll just say, huh, luck of the draw, bastards. So you gotta lose. Just lose. There is nothing to do. See, I won. Luck of the devil. Here we go. I didn't even cheat, and I won. And he doesn't count it. He'll just keep going until you lose. And he never loses. So just hit it and hope you lose, and hopefully this ends soon. Shit, I didn't mean to do it that many times. <laughs> I guess I am lucky. It's working in a casino, bitches. I got the hookup. I got the power. Come on, this is boring. Can we lose, please? I never thought I'd say that, but oh, Jesus. He's just waiting for the first time you lose. Do, do, do. Here we go. Thank God. I don't got all day to do this with you. Ha ha ha! You got a ways to go before you can beat me! You fucker, I won the first time. Well, then it looks like you owe me your boat. Don't hold a grudge. I won that game fair and square. I guess that means you'll have to swim back. Ha 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 Oh man, I kicked that from the first! Okay. Um... 
Alright, so the next thing you do, you can challenge him again and again, but at this point, you cannot win, so don't do it. You can't win. Does everybody got that? It's 10 now, so when we come back, we'll do something kind of fun and funny, and uh, we'll explore the ship and see if we can find the sage. See you later, guys.